Yes, hello. Uh, and first of all, thank you very much for the, to the Hague Convention for having invited me to attend this conference. It is a very interesting conference, and I'm very glad to be here to tell you about my experience with the Securities Convention and what it has done for Mauritius. Well, as people, you may know, Mauritius is a small country in the Indian Ocean, not too far from Madagascar. And we are well known for having, for being a global business center. And we have been able to invite mostly funds, but also um, other, what used to be called offshore, which is now called global business companies into Mauritius. Now these companies will deal when especially funds will have huge investments and those investments will be mostly in dematerialized securities which are deposited with uh, intermediaries. And uh, very early on, we wanted to do a law on netting to be able to simplify the process in Mauritius and to be able to simplify how we can issue opinions because at the time we had no judgments, we had no law, and we had uh, really the old French law of the Code Napoleon, which was a, which is a civil law Mauritius to work with, and that was rather tricky. So I started by obtaining the the OK of government to writing a law on netting and the banking association and eventually the banks got wind of that and decided it might be a good idea for them to participate which is of course which of course are welcome and was very glad to get the trades views and eventually i was called to a meeting with them and uh, we discussed what would be the best way forward at that meeting when the law was being considered, I received a request from the trade to have uh, something to do with uh, securities deposited with intermediaries. So we started looking and they wanted specifically to have a prima approach in Mauritius. We looked at options and it seemed to us that uh, one of the way forwards would be the Securities Convention of The Hague. The reason why we felt that was that as a small country, we're not really rule makers, we're rule takers. And we felt that it would be safer for us to go with a set of rules which were simple, certain, well devised, and which had been devised by consensus amongst specialists in the field. The trade in Mauritius agreed with us and we decided to go forward with that. At the time, of course, the problem was that the convention had not been, uh, had not come into force yet and we had uh, to go around and integrate the whole text of the convention in the act in order to be able to have it in force in Mauritius. And then Mauritius also became one of the first signatories to the convention and eventually bringing that into force. Now, the question is a simple one. We don't have in Mauritius any judgments on the matter, whether question as regards netting or as regards depositories. And we need to have certainty on those points. The reason we need to have certainty on those points is not only to allow uh, banks outside of Mauritius and counterparties to be able to take advantage of their regulations and be able to net off the sums that they have owed to each other, but simply to be able to convince people that Mauritius is a safe jurisdiction in which for them to do the derivative work. 
Now, that is important because funds will, of course, have a large amount of investments. And those investments are things they are going to get into derivative transaction with. And, as, and then uh, they will need to have a collateral, and those collateral is most often they're not deposited with intermediaries. So we were looking for certainty, and we felt that we would have certainty if we looked at a professionally drafted and negotiated convention. We did not want to go down the route of choosing a side or discussing political matters or deciding which was better than the other. We felt safer with having a set of rules which were internationally recognized, even though it had not come into force yet everywhere. But it would be much safer to have rules which were, sim which were simple, easy to follow, and which would be known and which would be easy for the trade in general to use. And this is the main reason why I would recommend for maybe more uh, countries to join the convention. It has the merit of being dispassionate about the matter. And what I have found is that when talking of, about financial instruments, financial matters, it is never a good idea to make it political. To give you an idea, in Mauritius we have an Insolvency Act, and the Insolvency Act uh, refers to uh, insolvency proceedings in other countries. And uh, you, we would have a paragraph which goes on to say that uh, only countries where we have an agreement with the other country to recognize the insolvency proceedings is, uh, is would that be a country where, where they are recognized? Now, the reason, the main thinking behind that is that we would only work with countries which give our proceedings recognition. Now, again, we are proceeding takers because nowadays the main um, assets being held by funds is dematerialized and deposited with depositories where they are traded, which is mainly in Asia or in the UK or in the States. So that in the end, Mauritius is looked at only to enforce the proceedings. And if you don't have uh, reciprocity, then we have a problem. And this is where politics become an issue with the law. And the less we have of that, the better it is. Now, when the matter was settled and we had written the law, the question was, what do we do with it and how is the government going to react to that? Now, I was lucky enough to get a meeting with the Prime Minister of Mauritius, at the time Mr. Navin Anguram, and we explained to him the situation and why we wanted to enter into the convention. He understood, he's himself a lawyer, agreed, and it went to Parliament. And this is the way, to my mind, to look at the whole sector. When we're talking about financial instruments and when we're trying to legislate, especially for a small country like Mauritius, then we have to be efficient. We have to be able to provide certainty, provide a solution, and provide a way of getting rules without having to go to court. Because court itself is not really equipped to deal with those matters. You, you do not have lawyers who are necessarily provisioned in uh, the, the issues, and you may end up getting a completely wrong decision, which would impact very badly on the whole sector. So that we would recommend, and we definitely took the approach of getting certainty 
and getting rules which were clear and which would not require us to apply to courts except to refer them to the law and try to find the solution to the, any problem which may come up by dealing with it in the law itself. And we are helped tremendously by the convention. And we would recommend, and that was the reason for Mauritius to accede to the convention. And we're very grateful that that instrument was devised and was available to us. Thank you.